For people that don't know, tell us about the journey for the Peninsula Seniors to get to here. Coming to this area uh, will be a boon to both our membership and our availability to seniors. Uh, at one time we were at 810 Silver Spur and our membership was quite a bit larger. And so when we moved down to uh, Rancho Palos Verde City Hall, uh, we lost some membership just because people thought it was too far to drive, even though it may not seem that way to you or me. Well, plus, I think here you're in the middle of everything, and seniors today are active. They're more active. It's easily to access the library, the mall, so many things here. And there's more and more seniors now, and I think they want a place to call home. Well, you're absolutely right. And one of the things we'd like to do is uh, now we're going to have about twice as much space. And what we'd like to do is uh, ha attract, have activities that will attract, I guess what I'd call younger seniors. A lot of people are becoming, you know, 65, 70, and uh, I think they would appreciate activities. And up to this date, we really haven't been able to have very many activities. We can do anything we want, one activity at a time. Right. How long did it take before this uh, particular space came together? Um, I started talking to Richard Lundquist uh, in May of 2011, so that's over two years. And we looked at some spaces. We were looking at possible rental spaces in this area. And one of the things about some of the shopping centers, they're not really owned by local people. And uh, we felt that ultimately we would be much more secure if we dealt with somebody who was a local person who lived here, as Mr. Lundquist does, and has roots in the community. And so this became kind of the center of my focus. Well, this is going to be a fantastic space. I'm sure that you're so excited to see the work done and get in here permanently. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I've, I've been excited and, you know, Sometimes you don't think a dream's going to come true, and this has been a dream, and it will come true. Uh, I did want to make the point. We are going to ultimately want to buy this space, and we will be uh, looking to the community to raise money and to our membership, uh, and so that's our next task. We have some money that we can use for the renovation, and uh, we will but it will be we'll be leasing the space with an with an intent to buy as soon as possible. Richard, I know this has been a labor of love. The seniors have been looking for a permanent home for a long time. What sort of went into the decision making process for you, um, owning the village and, and being a par part of what they're doing? Well, I think that uh, we've always felt this was the center of the entire peninsula and uh, knowing a lot of folks that are involved in the seniors and seeing the home they currently have, we realized that uh, a new home in this location would make a, a tremendous amount of sense and uh, we worked with the library and PV Arts Center and Norris uh, Center before uh, over the last uh, almost decade to, to assist them in having some uh, temporary uses here and, and now we're looking for a permanent home uh, for the seniors and I, I think it'll be great. You know, it's amazing when you think of the baby boomer generation, there's so many more seniors, they're so active and they really do need a place to call home. Absolutely. Uh, this uh, hill has become uh, more and more seniors and uh, this, is, this is the best location with the library, the mall and restaurants and shops uh, for a, a facility like this. Juan, in listening to you and looking at your drawings, you this is a labor of love for you. You have worked on so many other projects here on the peninsula, and this is such an important project for the seniors. Talk about your design and how you sort of came to have this design. This very space that we're presently in represents about a third of the total area that we're going to be using. This, this area that we're standing in ends right here, and then we keep going. And in total, we'll have 4,778 square feet to develop. Will there be walls knocked down? Or? We have, uh, all the walls will be knocked down except for the th sheer panels that exist right here. They were part of the design criteria not to mess with those uh, structural areas. But all these walls are completely new. 
got plenty of areas for people to meet and gather and have all of the activities. Well, you'll be coming into the main lobby reception area. We'll have a library waiting mix. The staff will work in this area. The back porch is an area then that we would cut this back wall out, build a deck, and be able to have a little bit of an outdoor feel to this, having barbecue, bar, dining, and lounge. We have a conference room, and then you go into the main multi-purpose space, which subdivides into two by having this movable partition, which will, uh, when it's not in use, uh, rest into these two niches. And a smaller multi-purpose room, all also splitting in half, and so you can have games and crafts and, and the like. At this corner, we would have a catering kitchen that would be accessed from the back, and right here, uh, through this point, they'll service the main rooms, and then this, the main storage uh, room also will service those multi-purpose areas. And this will be an absolutely wonderful asset for our seniors and indeed for the entire community. Um, seniors make up a huge portion of our population, as you well know, and for them to have a central location for activities and seminars and educational programs and outings will be such a blessing for the entire community. We couldn't be more excited, and um, it's wonderful to see Continental Development Corporation and the Peninsula Seniors and many, many community volunteers who have had this as a dream for years.